show already in progress. Folks, my next guest this evening is an Emmy and Grammy award-winning comedian you know from the King of Queens, Ratatouille, and his stand-up specials. Now you can see him in the new Ghostbusters movie, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Mr. Pat Oswald. <laughs> Lovely to see you again, Patton Oswald. Oh. It has been a minute yes. since you've been here. Matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, the last time you were supposed to be here, you had to cancel because you had the COVID. Yes, I got the I got the Rona and uh, yep. I had to stay home. Yeah. yeah, well, I'm so glad you're better and then we can see you again. Um, what have you been doing with your time? I have been doing too much. I have so much to promote today. We've yeah. got to get right to it. Let, well, let's I, let's yeah, not so then shut up so I can get All to right. it. Okay. All right. <clears throat> We're in a presidential election year, and you're in a new series. Oh, that one. Okay, yeah. Yes. Okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you not might want to promote this one? No, no, I want to promote that one. I thought you were going to talk about politics, and I got really scared for a second. Okay, oh, good, no, right. no, no, no. Oh, wait a minute. Done, but, I've done that already. But this series is about politics. Say the name of the series. Manhunt. Manhunt. I'm about the hunt for the man who killed our 16th president, Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, okay. this is a, uh, <laughs> wow, are they? They just found they're out. They're just learning they're from just it right now. Wow, all right. They don't know about Kennedy yet. Um, oh, all right. it's easy. Um, yeah, this is a series called Manhunt, and it's about the 12 days. Then they were tracking down John Wilkes Booth, man. It was who is intense. this bearded gentleman right here? Uh, well, who is that? Oh, good Lord. Well. Uh, I am playing uh, Lafayette Baker, Detective Lafayette Baker. Real guy? Um, a, a very real, very sketchy guy who was on the uh, group that was trying to find John Wilkes Booth, but was very, very, very aware of the reward money for catching him. Oh. So was like, how do I maybe get some of this money for myself? Might have messed with the investigation a little bit, like an actual... I mean, again, this this show is about the panic with, oh my God, the president's been killed. What do we do now? And sometimes you have to rely on some sketchy people. And that included me in a heavy, <laughs> in a heavy beard and a union uh, uniform in Savannah, Georgia in August. Oh. <laughs> oh, just get a whiff of that. Oh boy. Yeah. Now, okay. So this is obviously a tragic period in yeah. American history. You guys, uh, I know you do your research. Was there anything about doing this that informed you, A, about that time yeah. or our country now? Well, okay, this is gonna start off sounding kind of grim and then it's gonna get hopeful, so just stay with me. Hold um, on, hold on. If, okay, you ready? Need a little? There you go, okay. So um, it's so clear that we're just never ready for history. History always blindsides us. And you see this, um, you know, when the assassination happens and you realize, although this is weirdly hopeful, we are always trying to catch up with history. History is always about eight or nine steps ahead of us. And I think one of the things that makes America great is that we are, of, of every other country, we are the ones that are the most open to. We're never gonna actually catch up with this idea of what we wanna be, but we're always gonna tweak it and keep trying to get to it, and that kind of makes it beautiful. It's that A more quest, perfect union. Yeah, that quest, the, the, but you just said it, more perfect. And more perfect means we're always in the process of pursuing it. We're not gonna ever arrive there, but the process of pursuing it makes us better. We are never a finished country. I'm gonna quote Darby Crash from the germs, but we are always forming and we're, we're, a, we're it's the American experiment and there's no final thesis statement. You have just, you know, you know about a lot of great um, sci-fi and fantasy franchises uh, yes. that have come down the pike. You are now part of one of the greatest of all time, Ghostbusters. Yes. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Yeah. Here's, uh, here's what one of the original Ghostbusters uh, tweeted just Ooh. recently. Um, in UK, working on Ghostbusters, cracking a bottle of Crystal Head to celebrate my day with comic genius Patton Oswald, 
His stuff alone, worth the price of admission, Dan Aykroyd. How does that feel? Uh, well, a buster, a blues brother. A buster, a blues brother, a, a doctor uh, mm -hmm. from Detroit. Yes. Uh, he, look, that's one of those things that your, your brain, as a comedian, your brain can't process that. That guy invented Irwin Mainway. He, you know, he, he invented uh, the, the Bassmatic, for God's sakes. He did, sure. he did um, Leonard Pinth Darnell. Like, sure. like the levels, the, the level of insanity that fell out of that guy's skull that ended up being the foundation for what, what my generation of comedy did. Mm -hmm. there, I, I, can't re I can't properly react to that, but just go, oh, wow. That's well, a big deal. We have a scene here with you and Dan. What do I need to know here? Uh, this is where I am. I, I play a librarian at the uh, New York Public Library, and I am explaining uh, the origin, and then Dan takes over and explains the stakes of what we're about to be up against. And it's, yeah. you'll see, it's great. That orb is a magical prison for a phantom god. His plan was to raise an army of the undead and wage war on humanity by channeling fear into a weapon. The death chill. The power to kill by fear itself. A cold shiver runs down your spine. Your veins turn to rivers of ice. Your bones crack. Your lungs cave. And the last thing you see is your own tear ducts freezing up. It's so cool. <laughs> I can't think. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of a perfect part. Yes. Yeah. It's a part that you have to explain, like glyphs on an ancient orb. Oh Seems my God. like what you were built for. Was born to do. Just a, a, yeah. an info dump out of out of my skull was that was so much fun. Matter of fact, when I looked at this and, photo of you as this like Civil War <laughs> detective, yeah. I thought there he is in the beard, but he's explaining to everybody in the room how the plot of uh, Tenet works. Yes. It does look like I'm going, now listen, it's time travel, but they're going backwards. Like I'm trying to explain that and, and not doing a good job. Um, uh, Ghostbusters, it's the movie set in New York City. Yes. Okay. Uh, how much time have you spent? Do you, do, does New York ever feel like home to you? I, do you like it here? I, I love visiting New York, but I missed my window to live here. New York is such a great city if you're young and broke, or if you're old and insanely rich. You can't. Right. You like, can either like take the suffering. Uh, yes. And, and, but once you're in your mid 30s to mid 40s, it just, that suffering, which you, as you're in your 20s makes you awesome, just peels the skin off of you. And I know <laughs> that if I moved here, I would end up in Union Square just barefoot playing backgammon with a ghost and just like <laughs> talking to myself. You know what I mean? Like I know it's too late for me. To, I would I, watch that film. Well, that's. You know what, uh, Safty Brothers, if you're watching, give us a call. <laughs> this year marks the 30th anniversary of uh, your premiere as a professional actor. Oh. Uh, is this really the, your, your is This is how I got my sag after card. So this is you in Seinfeld with George. Oh, look at me. What is, hap <laughs> what is happening here? I... What a great start. Yes, well, what is happening is I, I am a bundle of nerves, and I was, I have one line. Uh, I'm sorry, it doesn't work that way. And I, I was sitting there just reading. I was, you know, enunciating every other word. I'm sorry, it doesn't work that. Like, and and Jason Alexander could see how wound up I was. And right before, and I kind of owe my career moving forward to Jason from this. Him, he leaned forward right before they said action. He went, "It's not too late to be fired, Patton." And that, <laughs> but it made me laugh so hard, and it. <laughs> Cut the tension that yeah. I just, I will forever owe that guy. That's fantastic. He knew exactly what I needed as a comedian. Patton, lovely to see you. Great to Let's see you. Let's not make it so long. I know. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire opens in theater Friday, March 22nd. Manhunt premieres this Friday on Apple TV. Plus, is Patton Oswald. So many projects. We'll be right back. <laughs>